Jesse Lingard is in Gareth Southgate's England squad is a much deserved call up for him as well did it in yesterday's video but in case you didn't see it just briefly I think this is fantastic news for Jesse Lingard but also West Ham as well this is now proof that Jesse Lingard come play at West Ham stay at West Ham next season do well and you will get in the England team now Declan Rice has sort of been proving that actually you can do it but I do feel as a West Ham fan and obviously not as an England fan over the years that sometimes not playing for a Sky Sports top six club harms you when you're trying to get into the England fold. You know, Eric Dyer continues to get in there when if he was playing for someone like Crystal Palace, would he get into the England squad as much as he has done? Probably not. Juan Bazaka is case in point. He was at Crystal Palace, he's one of the best right backs in the league, couldn't get into the England team, went to Man United in the next squad. Simple as that. But this is this is fantastic news for West Ham. This is now Jesse Lingard back in the England fold without having to play for Man United anymore. Um, since we found out that the um, since I did the video yesterday, seen that Gareth Southgate sort of gave Jesse Lingard almost like a glowing report prior to his move. So I don't know if someone from West Ham had spoken to Gareth Southgate in regards to taking Jesse Lingard on loan in January, but there seemed to be something suggesting that Southgate sort of. That gave his blessing to the move, but certainly encouraged West Ham to go and get Jesse Lingard and take him to the London Stadium. But fantastic news for Jesse, and this, and like I said, I think this is really good news for West Ham. Usually, I'm a bit uh, with teams going for international call-ups, like Suchek. I think he could do the break. You're not playing three games uh, in a week, but brilliant, brilliant news for Jesse. But meanwhile, meanwhile. It's a little bit different. Um, Mikel Antonio, the report yesterday that Mikel Antonio is going to switch his allegiance to Jamaica. Obviously, he's been waiting for that England call-up. He's had it, but not represented England. He got injured, but I think he deserves more. I do think he deserves more call-ups. Arguably, deserved a call for England today. You know, he's been banging for him, scoring goals. You look at the England sort of strikers over the last few months. He's up there with the, the goal scorers of them. But he's not good enough for England. I, I, I'm happy to say that. I don't think he's good enough. I think, you know, Kane's obviously the pick. Calvin Loon, Rashford, he's not that... Even Danny Ing, he's not that ability of player. So he's switching to Jamaica. Now, I've got sort of two opinions on this. So first of all, there's the fan of Mikel Antonio and the fan of West Ham. They contrast. So the fan of Mikel Antonio, good on him. Good on him. The World Cup round the corner. He's, he's going to want to represent our country. He's going to want to get international caps, play in a big, big tournament. And there's a few decent players for Jamaica now. Um, oh, I'm struggling. Ravel Morrison. Ravel Morrison's one. There's a decent winger. I can't remember his name right now. But there's a few decent players now in the Jamaica setup. So he's also going to be a part of that. I can completely understand it. Why wouldn't he? All career. Started out in non league football. He's grafted his way to the Premier League, an established Premier League player goal scorer in the Premier League the only thing missing was international caps and he's going to go get them now with Jamaica some fantastic news for him and um, completely understand why he's doing it now the West Ham fan in me a bit different to the Jess Lingard thing I'm a bit worried I'm a bit worried um, he struggles to play for West Ham he struggles to play a full season for us with his injuries and stuff and this is just going to put more strain on him travelling a long long way to play a home game play two games three games in a short space of time they'll come all the way back I think we're going to see an impact here I think when we come to play our game at the weekend and Mikel Antonio has been away on international duty I think we might struggle to see him start these games now you could argue that with the right recruitment in the summer if we do get in a top top striker that actually we won't need him as much but I think it is risky I think this is risky like I said I get why he's doing it I'm not saying he shouldn't do it what I'm saying is from a West Ham fan point of view removing the Mikel Antonio thing from it and just looking at it logically if you like uh, black and white and that is we're sending someone or someone that's injury prone is going to go and play international football miles away more games for him and he's already struggling to fulfill 38 Premier League games a season so it's not ideal for West Ham and I think we're going to see a bit of an issue with this um, when he's representing Jamaica but I get it. it because I can't really criticise him can I because I sit here time and time again you get the question Champions League or World Cup Euro Championships or FA Cup people compare club v country there's always been a club v country debate and it's sort of I say it gets more intense at the minute it's not really I think it was worse years ago when the likes of John Terry or Rio Ferdinand or whatever they'd pull out for England duty but they'd be playing for the club the following weekend and stuff I think that's got less I do think that's got less I think um 
more players represent England now and tend to represent them um, and prioritise over the club. And I've always thought that's the way it should be because for me, the pinnacle of football would be playing in the World Cup. And I guess it depends on sort of the ability of the player, if you like. For someone like... Um, I, I don't know. Someone that's been playing in Champions League football, someone that's earning a lot of money, someone that's playing Champions League football every week, winning trophies, you can see why they would dismiss it international football to some extent. Of course, they want to play in the big tournaments, but the friendlies and the qualifiers, sometimes you can see why they think, oh, I'll set this one out kind of thing. But for someone like Antonio, playing at a World Cup is as good as it's going to get for him, unless West Ham win a trophy. But even then, I would argue... Representing Jamaica at the World Cup is probably bigger for Antonio personally than it would be to win the Carabao Cup for West Ham, for example. And so it should be. I do think international football, like I said, this is just a personal opinion, the World Cup should be the pinnacle of a player's career. And I think if you ask people that have won the World Cup what they prefer, if you were to, I don't know, you'd go to ask Xavi or Iniesta who's won the World Cup with Spain and Champions League of Barca, I wouldn't be surprised if they chose the World Cup as the biggest moment of their career they prioritised over the Champions League Um, hopefully all this is making sense it's probably not is it but anyway Jesse Lingard in the England squad fantastic news for him and like I said good news for West Ham Mikel Antonio switching to Jamaica so he can represent them at international duty since he's been overlooked by England continuously and to some extent while the Craig Dawson thing does he deserve a call up probably but is he good enough to play for England probably not and that's why he hasn't been called up Anyway, now some, some little Hammers chat news, nothing too exciting. On the channel, the main channel today, I should have a video about Adam Armstrong with a Blackburn fan. and We, we all know a little bit about him, pardon me. We've all seen him play here and there, we've all read bits, but I decided to chat to someone that watches him week in, week out, and get his opinion on Adam Armstrong if he's good enough for West Ham, so that should be up today. Tomorrow's Thursday. No, it's not. Today's Thursday. I'm losing track of it. Tomorrow's Friday, so on the main channel there will be the preview of the Arsenal game. I'm doing it with Gonzo, if all goes well. Touch wood. I should be doing the preview with Gonzo tomorrow, that'll go up tomorrow. On this channel, first thing in the morning, I know I've been a bit rubbish, alright? I've been a bit rubbish. Gonzo uploads at 8.30 every morning. I've been a bit rubbish at getting that done. I'll be honest with you. The news, the news is a bit thin. It's hard to do content when you're just one person and one channel is tough enough. I'm trying to do it in two channels, you, you spread yourself really thin and you need a lot of sort of topics to cling on to. I mean, I'm doing my best to make this video last eight, ten minutes so we can get some ad money into the forum channel for Gonzo. Um, but tomorrow on this channel, 8.30 in the morning, there'll be a Premier League preview. It's completely different. I tend to do them over on my own channel, but I'll explain it in tomorrow's video. So there'll be a Premier League preview. Then in the afternoon, there'll be the West Ham Fans Podcast. We've got three guests. They're recording it tonight. Um, Charlie, Becky and Gatesy. You know who all three of them are. They've been on, uh, Gatesy's been on a few videos. Charlie's obviously on a lot. And Becky's on this channel a lot. They're recording tonight and that'll go up on this channel tomorrow. Then on Saturday, on Saturday, um, Gonzo's going to try and do a video on this channel as well. Uh, he he might not manage it. He might just sort of get halfway in and just give up or something. But hopefully, fingers crossed, you'll see Gonzo in the preview tomorrow. And you'll see him on this channel on Saturday. Then, of course, got the football on Sunday. When I spoke to Gonzo earlier, he said he fully intends on doing the videos on Sunday around the game, the build-up show, the review and stuff. So that's good news as well. So anyway, I'm going to shut up now. I've managed to drag this out long enough. Uh, <laughs> but... Seriously, thank you to everybody that's been watching that. I know Gonzo, it's not the same without Gonzo and stuff. And like I said, I'm aware I'm spending myself thin, so the content's probably not as good as it could be. I am doing my best, that's all. Uh, yesterday we did the Euro video, how to qualify for European football for the Premier League um, this season. That'll be on your screen in just a minute if you haven't watched it and you want to check that out. Please do, but Jesse Lingard in England squad, Mikel Antonio heading to the Jamaica squad at some point. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you tomorrow morning with a Premier League preview. See you in a bit.